Hello and welcome to section 6 where we build a reactive real-time stock exchange using the pieces that we were building in the previous sections. In this first video we're going to add some code to our matching server so that it sends data back to the client. As you can see in the diagram right now we have the first portion where the client sends stock orders to the transaction server which are relayed to the matching server. However, we need the second portion, which is where the matching server sends a snapshot of posted and fulfilled orders to all connected clients so that they have a view of the actual stock exchange at certain points in time. So let's get started. So now let's open up the matching server. We're going to be modifying the exchange handler and in particular the open method. So when a client has connected to the server, we want to make sure that they're subscribed to the order snapshot information. So we want to send the client a list of fulfilled orders and a list of posted orders. So we start by using the scheduler and we're going to use the current scheduler of course and we define our send order snapshot function. So for every single order in the server posted orders, we're going to write that order to the client stream. So we're going to say posted and format the order in there. And then when we have a list of fulfilled orders, we want to do the same thing. Fulfilled orders, self.write message, fulfilled. and then format the order. So the client will be receiving posted or fulfilled orders from the server and they will be receiving that information from an interval observable that we're going to schedule every single second. Now we need to store the result of our subscription to this timer. We're going to subscribe with the send order snapshot function and the reason we're doing this is because the order sender that we are receiving the object that we're receiving from the subscribe method is a disposable and a disposable can be disposed of when we no longer need it so the subscriber can unsubscribe essentially from the interval when we no longer need it and that's the case when the client closes the connection if they close the connection we can actually no longer send them this order snapshot. So we have to call self.ordersender.dispose. So what happens here is that we schedule a timer on the IO loop scheduler, the tornado scheduler. For every single second, it will send posted and fulfilled orders to whichever client is connected on this particular WebSocket handler. We subscribe and we store that disposable so that later on when the connection is closed we no longer send order snapshot information to the closed connection. And that's pretty much all we have to do to send data from the server back up to the client. We just have to make sure that we're periodically sending it and whenever the client closes their connection we no longer send that information. So let's see how that looks like. We run the matching server on port 9999. We don't need a transaction server here. And then we switch to the other tab where we run the client. So the client connects with multiple clients and the delay is a little bit longer so we can see what's going on. And right away we can see if we scroll up to the top here we are sending orders from the client and the server is immediately coming back with, oh, you've posted an order. So we've received this message from the server. So this order has been received, and then another one has been received right here. And later on, we can see that orders are being fulfilled. So we're receiving a bunch of messages through the message callback, and we're able to print them out here. And on the server, we can see that the connection has been closed. And of course, because it's closed, it's waiting for another client connection and it's not sending any more order snapshots. So this is how you communicate between the server and the client and periodically send data back up to the client instead of waiting for the client to send the request for that information.